Hi, good content. This has to do with a, a true Christian man who is obedient to God because he knows the word, the word of God. That's what it comes down to. Here's why. A man who is obedient to God is hard to find. First thing. He becomes born of the Spirit of God that's instilled in him. When he confessed that Jesus Christ is his Lord and Savior and went to the cross for all of mankind, he must acknowledge that, who were yet sinners, mankind, sinners because of Adam and Eve in the garden of Eve. Eden. Obedience is the key to knowing God. There is no other way. Yield to the Holy Spirit to lead you and guide you through all things. Knowledge, wisdom, understanding, guidance. When you know God as a, as a spirit being, you understand him in the spirit that leads you to do good will, God's will. If not, you are led by your flesh and your flesh cannot please God, because God is spirit, not flesh. You must be a born-again Christian to knowing God. A true Christian worships God weekly at church with other brethren. If possible, you must glorify God, His name. You must praise Him, God daily. You must give testimony daily of his greatness and his goodness in your life. You must acknowledge God daily. You must ask God for mercy daily because mercy is asked, not given. Grace is given freely to all of us, mankind. You must read the Bible which is his word to understand it because it is spiritual. It is embedded in you once you know the word of God because you are born again of the spirit. You must read scripture as often as possible daily. If you, if you truly want to know God, you must help other Christians as well to encourage them to knowing Christ who died for you when he went to Calvary over 2,000 years ago. You are washed in his blood daily for the asking. I give all glory and honor to God. And I thank Jesus for being in my life in that I am saved and born again of his spirit. That's why I live to to worship God and to praise God and to thank God for who he is. He is Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. There is nothing after him. There is nothing before him. God knows all things and he's everywhere. There is no limitations on God. Amen.